Welcome to this YouTube video. In this YouTube video, I would like to show and explain how you can end up and set up this. So to set up Eclipse IDE for developing in ABAP, so for your SAP programs. So in this video, I would like to show you step by step how you can install Eclipse, how you can use Eclipse as an IDE for ABAP development and I would like to show and explain you nice tips and tricks for developing ABAP with the Eclipse IDE. So enjoy this video and let's get started. So to use Eclipse, first of all, you, you have to download the IDE Eclipse. So for example, you can open up a search engine that you like, for example, Google, and then you can type in download Eclipse. And then over here you can see the official Eclipse website. So you click over here and then right here you can download the Eclipse software. So you click over here and then you click on download and then the Eclipse installation file, the executable file will be downloaded. It'll take a couple of seconds. So, and once your file has been downloaded successfully, then you can click on open file. So over here we can see the Eclipse installer. So it depends what you like. In our case, for example, the IDE for Java developers is sufficient. But if you would like to use an enhanced version of Eclipse, then you can also um, select this one. In my case, I just would like to select Eclipse IDE for Java developers. That's totally sufficient. Then I click on here. Then over here, you can select your installation folder. So we would like to have your Eclipse folder, so all your projects and stuff like that you would would like to create a start menu entry and if you would like to create a desktop shortcut and then i click on install then here you can read the eclipse foundation software user agreement so read them detailed <laughs> and then you can click on accept now and then in the background eclipse will be installed so, and after the installation has been completed, so is done, then you can launch Eclipse by clicking on this launch button. Then the Eclipse IDE launcher will open up. And in here, as we've specified the path to the Eclipse workspace, um, this path will be filled in. But if you want to, you can browse for other path for your workspace, what you like to. If you want to use this as the default and don't want to show this pop up uh, again after launching the Eclipse IDE, then you can select this checkbox. But my purpose, I would like to have this shown. Then you can click on launch and then it the Eclipse IDE has been started. So in here, if you want to, so for example, you get a welcome page, so you can, you can click on these quick links to get an overview, for example, of the features, but that is not necessi necessary normally. So, and in order to use Eclipse for ABAP development, we need the ABAP development tools, the ADT. And to install the ADT, you can click on help and then install new software. And then over here, you have to type in one URL. So in our case, the ABAP development tools. So for using Eclipse as an ABAP IDE integrated development tool. And I will put the link in the video description. But then here you can put this link into. And to get the latest one, you can just add latest. And then hit the enter key as I did. And over here, we just, in our case, need ABAP development tools. If you would like to work with other tools as well, then you can select these checkboxes as well. You can leave the other details 
as they are, then you can click on next. Then once again, click on next. Then you have to accept the terms of license agreement. You can click on finish. And now in the background, the software will be installed. And once the installation is done, then you will be asked to restart the Eclipse IDE to apply the software updates. So in our case, we are doing this. So restart now. So now the Eclipse IDE has been restarted successfully. And that's it basically. So you have set up a click successfully to use it as an ABAP development tool. So in our case, I just would like to create a really simple Hello World program. So I would now would like to show how you can log into your SAP system and to create and to develop with your ABAP package, your ABAP coding and stuff like that. And to do this here, you have to click on new and then on project. And over here, we would like to create a new ABAP project in our case. So I click on next. And here what you see is basically all the connections in your SAP logon. So for example, if you would start the SAP logon, then over here, all the connections will be shown in here. And what you like to show in our case, so I select demo, then you can leave these settings as they are. So I go to next and over here, I want to connect to the client 400 with this as a pay user. Then I type in my password with the logon language EN for English. Then I hit the finish button. So then I want to log into the SAP system to the selected one. And then, uh, yeah, for this purpose, I can open up the ABAP perspective. And then we are going to our project. I will close this for a second. And over here, we can see our project. I will open this up for a second. So all the ABAP repository information will be loaded. And then, for example, I open this up. Here, my user. That's the temporary package. And then for example, I would like to create a new program. So in this case, I go to source code library to programs, then I can right click. Then for example, I go, go to new ABAP program. And then for example, hello world, up demo, Hello world for ERP up. Then I can go to next. Yeah, this doesn't matter. Just click on finish. And over here, for example, I can write hello world. Do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> so, and then let's save it. And let's also activate it. And then let's run it. So, hello world. Do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel, ERP app. And for example, if we would log into our SAP system, so I'm logged in, then going to the app object navigator and then on program and over here. Oh, I forgot to put a P into this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but basically here we can see our program and it's basically in the SAP system. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment sections. Please like this video and please do not forget to subscribe to this great YouTube channel to never miss upcoming videos. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.